and welcome to another episode of Beyond the Headlines. I'm Marielle Bricker with Ballotpedia's elections team, and today our topic is the 2020 United States Senate elections. As of November 2019, 35 U.S. Senate seats are on the ballot, 33 regular elections, and two special elections. Here's a little background on the chamber. There are 100 U.S. Senators, two for each of the 50 states. Senators serve six-year terms and do not have term limits. They are broken up into three classes based on what year their seat is up for regular election. These are class one, two, and three. The regular 2020 races will feature class two senators, the majority of whom were most recently elected in 2014. The states holding regular election are Alabama, Alaska, Arkansas, Colorado, Delaware, Georgia, Idaho, Illinois, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Montana, Nebraska, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, North Carolina, Oklahoma, Oregon, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Virginia, West Virginia, and Wyoming. Special elections have also been called in Arizona and Georgia, in addition to their regularly scheduled elections. In Arizona, appointed Republican incumbent Martha McSally will need to stand for election to serve the remainder of John McCain's Class 3 seat. It will be on the ballot again in 2022. In Georgia, this special election was called to replace Republican Johnny Isaacson, who announced he would resign at the end of 2019. The winner of the special election will serve the remainder of his Class 3 term, which will also be on the ballot again in 2022. Of the 35 Senate seats up for regular or special election in 2020, 12 are currently held by Democrats and 23 are held by Republicans. Following the 2018 midterm elections, when Republicans netted two, two seats from Democrats, Republicans held a 53-seat majority in the U.S. Senate, while Democrats held 45 seats and Independents held two seats. Since both of those Independents, Angus King in Maine and Bernie Sanders in Vermont, caucus with Democrats, Democrats would need to pick up four seats in 2020 to gain a majority. To maintain their majority in the Senate, Republicans cannot lose more than two seats. If Democrats pick up three seats from the Republicans, that would result in a split chamber without a majority. When the Senate vote is tied, the U.S. Vice President serves as the tiebreaker. The last time Class II Senators were up for regular election was in 2014. Going into the election, Democrats held a majority in the chamber of 53 seats to Republicans 45 seats and Independents 2 seats. Republicans picked up nine seats from Democrats during that election, gaining control of the chamber with 54 seats to Democrats 44 seats and Independents 2 seats. As of November 2019, three incumbents have announced they will not be seeking re-election in 2020. Kansas Republican Pat Roberts, New Mexico Democrat Tom Udall, and Tennessee Republican Lamar Alexander. In 2014, seven incumbents did not seek re-election, five Democrats and two Republicans. Ballotpedia has identified 16 battleground races based on the following fa four factors. The 2016 presidential election results, if the incumbent is seeking re-election, if the incumbent is a first-term senator, and outside race ratings. Five battleground seats are currently held by Democrats and 11 are held by Republicans. Winners of the regular elections will be sworn in on January 3rd, 2021 and serve until 2027.